This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the 2022 Virgo Full Moon. The full moon takes place on March 18th, 2022 at 12.17 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 3.17 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 7.17 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, at 27 degrees Virgo, 40 minutes, 27 degrees Pisces, 40 minutes. The cleanup crew is here. It's conducting a thorough assessment of everything that's happened in recent weeks. It's analyzing the damage, the debris, and the effect on boundaries, health, and sanity. It's drawing up to-do lists. It's pouring out medicine and tonics. And it's picking up the pieces, all courtesy of the Virgo full moon. This is a reason-driven, emotion-resistant moon under normal circumstances. It deals with practicalities, evaluates them with a critical, discerning eye that homes in on how they might be better. This bent does not make for comfort in a natal chart, but its innate objectivity can be welcome and useful in a passing moon phase, particularly in the aftermath of intensity particularly in the aftermath of the level of intensity the world has been experiencing. The moon's current role jumps out from the chart. No knowledge of astrology is required to see that the moon is visually on its own, the only body on one side, with everything else in the sky opposite. The pattern is called a bucket, and the moon is the handle, the way to carry and work with everything else. And, weirdly appropriate to the label, half of what's in the bucket is water. Four bodies in Pisces, including the sun as well as the moon's and mind's ruler, Mercury, are a wellspring of emotions that are aggrandized, boundary-blurring, and non-rational to an extreme. They're scheduled to increase as the moon wanes and Mercury meets with amplifying Jupiter and transcendent Neptune. Roles are reversed. The archetypally emotionally sensitive moon is logical and deliberative. The archetypally logical sun is awash with emotions, and not just our own. They're misty and unmoored from physical reality, wafting off nearby Neptune, which the sun joined March 5th. The cosmic fog machine is muffling our intellects with sorrow, compassion, fantasy, delusion, and escapism in its many forms. No wonder, with what we're soaking up, telepathy and empathy and codependency are flowing, with Mercury and Pisces connecting us below the level of language. It's overwhelming, but the Virgo full moon has the stuff to take care of it. As situations hit a peak, this moon is at the ready with mops and towels and wet vacs to deal with overflow and aftermath. The moon has allies that intensify and focus the releasing properties inherent in a full moon. One makes the messes more dramatic and the clearings deeper and permanent. The moon is exactly trying to Pluto, the destroyer, the lord of death and rebirth, the ruler of secrets, treasures, and other hidden things. The full moons since October have been at 27 degrees of their respective signs, directly contacting this fierce influence. This is the last of the sequence, and like November's Taurus lunar eclipse, the energies team without impediment. We're emotionally processing, but with the aid of objectivity and critical thinking, the deep-level changes we have been experiencing individually and collectively, revelations and exposures of secrets, abuses of power, betrayals, corruption, and forces operating behind the scenes or in our subconscious. It's worth thinking back to November when the current eclipses began on the Taurus-Scorpio axis, revisiting and resetting resources and investments. What we're dealing with and disposing of now may connect to revelations, departures, and chapter endings that started then. Cleaning up, cutting out, and throwing out are natural and organic. This teamwork is at your service and will simplify a lot in your life, so work with them already, why don't you? Use their precision to redraw boundaries and remove unhealthy situations. 
Some are going without your intervention, but there's no reason you can't wield the scalpel yourself. The process has a decidedly evolutionary and faded overtone. The moon and Pluto are in a grand trine, an unbroken round robin of energy, with the north node representing the path forward. Cleaning house emotionally isn't merely lightening our load based on redefined values and desires. It's moving us. Amid the logic and clearing and clouds of whatever they are, watch for bursts of firepower. Venus, ruler of all we desire and value, is sextile, Chiron, in Aries. She's newly honed from her meetings with Pluto in the past three months and newly empowered by traveling for weeks with Mars, planet of action. The opportunity aspect opens doors to neutralizing or making a new arrangement with wounds associated with leadership, having to act alone, not being able to delegate, taking individual risks, and the masculine. The sextile offers the possibility of bridging the masculine and the feminine, boldly working together for a communal or progressive good. It's up to you whether you take the sextile's offer or not. Either way, change is coming. The moon's purge and release vibe gets an assist the following day when Venus squares startling, awakening, liberating Uranus. The impact rattles a lot loose and unleashes breakthroughs, breakups, and disruptions in relationships and desires. Friendships could be especially affected. As if a cosmic sorting hat is at work, reassigning allegiances. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. Visit my site, empowermentunlimited.net, to listen to my weekly podcasts, sign up for my newsletter, and get a Jupiter in Pisces quick reference guide as a thank you and book a session with me. I host the show Celestial Compass on Om Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host a lively conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited in the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I post on Instagram at, at Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel.